So as you may have guessed by today's title, we're going to go empty the catch can on the lead engineering catch can and I'm going to talk about some future upgrades we're going to do to that C6 Corvette. And it is winter, but that's okay. Well, I am back at the garage and if you'll notice, Corvette season is over. Well, car season, I guess, here in beautiful northern Minnesota. I suppose it gives us a short nine months to work on our stuff. What's this? Oh, it looks like my C6 has a friend. Look at that. Oh, it's like an automatic. Red seat bottoms. Kind of interesting. Anyway, so I got the car all put away, battery tender hooked up to it, a little stable in the fuel and filled it up. I just want to check out the catch can and see how much it's accumulated in the last few thousand miles. I've ran it pretty hard, as you've seen in the videos, and I would assume there's a little bit in there. So I'm going to get this taken out and uh, see what we have. That got really tight on there. Let's see what's going on here. There it goes. I wonder what happened. Well, a gasket appears to have dried out and like locked itself together. Jesus. It's almost like whatever the manufacturer put on it dried out and made it stick to the aluminum on both sides, on the threaded side and that uh, female side, I guess. It, it was really, really tight taking it off, so I don't know, you might have to just put motor oil on or something on it different. I'm not really sure, but that kind of sucks. And I did see right on the website when you bought these uh, extra O-rings were an option, and I didn't buy them, you know, assuming they're reusable, sort of like a gasket, but apparently you need to buy them. I, I don't know why, but eh. all in all, not so bad. Uh, catch can did its job. Uh, for the price, it's still really well made. I guess you can't really fault a cheap O-ring or whatever really happened. I guess it gets heat cycled enough that lubricant or whatever they used in there dries out and you're left with dry contact on it and that seems to be what happened. That's not normal. I hope. <laughs> oh, I got it off. Anyways. What we have here... I don't know if you can see in there quite yet. How about that? It's accumulated a little bit down there on the bottom. Yep, it's all black oil. I don't know, maybe a tablespoon or so? That's after driving it hard for that, like I said, probably 3,000 miles. You can see the oil in the middle, sort of. That's what it accumulated over that amount of time. Just that black and that old clutch fluid from that previous video of cleaning it. So there's really not that much oil in there at all. But it's definitely working. I'm going to have to order a new gasket for the catch can itself. Kind of sucks that it seems like it just dried out and tore. I don't know why it would have done that. Anyways, is that. I'll clean it out with paper towel and uh, run it again all season next year. So I do have a couple of things planned for the car this winter since it's put away. The first thing I'd really like to do, I'm gonna put it in MGW, uh, their race short throw shifter. I think it's called a flat throw. I'm gonna install one of those. I have a skip shift eliminator coming. I also looked at buying a Zero One suede shift boot with blue stitching and I'd get a matching knob and hopefully the emergency brake shift boot too. It's kind of tearing over here and I think the suede would give it a little better feel. 
don't know if you can see, but it tore. Anyway, so that's the big stuff that I want to do to it. Um, on top of that, I'm also going to install a fast 102 intake manifold, anticipating a camshaft install. I guess it's kind of the last choking point on the LS2 top end. So you can expect any uh, an install video on the shifter stuff in the next few weeks, and the fast 102 in maybe a month or so this winter. Till then, if you want to see more videos, uh, make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, and uh, stay tuned for future updates. I suppose I'll end the video with a little cold start.